Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again this week for another video. Uh, I thought I would do something slightly a little bit different this week and I've gone and started another sketchbook or an art journal, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not really a sketchbook for me, it's more of an art journal because it's not just, I don't put unfinished sketches in this type of book. So you know what, I'm going to call this one an art journal. I haven't done an art journal in a very, very long time. Uh, it's been about maybe two years since I've done one. So. Um, um, if I'm just sketching in something, like I'll show my sketchbook when I get it completed, but from now on, you know, I'm going to be calling these my, my art journals, um, like I did way back when I first started my channel. Um, some people have requested that I show my progress or my process right from beginning to end, which includes the drawing as well. So I thought uh, that going forward for some of the smaller projects that I'm working on, that I can definitely do that and give you guys what you're looking for. Um, I hope you enjoy this little project that I'm doing here. It wasn't anything big. I just wanted to do something small because you know you get that first page of your sketchbook and you got to put something on it or your journal. You got to put something on it and you don't know what to do. You're afraid to mess it up. So I just dove in and um, <clears throat> excuse me, I found a video or a, an image on the internet on Google and implement it into um, my sketch here so I can turn it into a video. That's what I'm trying to say. So um, I just thought that, you know, a little teddy bear would be cute and I found an image similar to this one on Google Images and I wanted to add more to it so that I wasn't just copying the image, you know. Um, the teddy bear sitting on the moon is pretty much my reference that I went with. I did change it up just slightly and I decided that I wanted to add more stars in the background, have a star hanging off of the moon and I wanted to do a galaxy because I've been really, really enjoying galaxies galaxies lately and uh, so that's what I did so basically um, this is a Canson mixed media journal it's uh, I'm not really sure of the size it's 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 a good size for a journal um, and the image clearly did not go in the middle of the the page I'm really bad with proportioning um, things so it's something I have to work on I am drawing or I did draw with just a regular mechanical pencil and I outlined with a Copic multi-liner in various sizes from 0 0.3 0 0.5 up to um, 1.0 um, being the biggest outline that I did around the entire image so it would pop off the page just a little bit and I also decided that since I have my uh, Electroset aquamarkers um, on my uh, marker sheet shelf here. I haven't used them in such a long time. It's probably probably been about two years since I've used them and I thought it was about time that I start using some of the materials that I haven't used in a long time before they you know dry up and I can't use them anymore. And uh, with working on this picture actually I did find a couple markers that had dried up and um, I, I'm honestly not going to buy these markers again when they are done. Uh, you can't refill them. Uh, so I thought that, uh, you know, I just threw them in the garbage, the ones that didn't work, and uh, just went from there. Uh, I will use um, mostly golds and, you know, the colors for the galaxy in this. I didn't use all the markers that I have, and I do have, I'm pretty sure, the entire set um, every marker that has been made up until two years ago for the Electroset Aqua markers. So I have quite a few. I think there's 50 plus of them. I think it's uh, to that extent. So um, that's what I use here. And I was having a little bit of trouble. Um, I was trying to have the moon gray with a little bit of a yellow backlighting, so to speak. And um, it kind of turned out a little green. I don't know why it turned out green, but it did. Um, I'm Prob I'm pretty sure maybe there's um, a little bit of blue coloring in the black to make the black. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how Letraset makes their markers, but something in there mixed with that yellow and turned my moon a little bit green. But you know what? It happened, and I just went with it, so I just left it as it was. What can you do sometimes? Sometimes things just don't work out the way you want, and you just got to move forward with it. Um, I really like the markers for making the galaxy in the background here. Um, they were very easy to work with, and the benefit with using these Electroset markers, I'm not sponsored by the way, um, 
and I did buy these markers with my own money um, a while ago, so um, they weren't sent to me either. Um, but they are they are good if you get the hang of using them. And what I was going to say is that the benefit to these is that you can either use them just as a marker, like I'm doing in some parts of the video here, or you can pick up that water brush and you can help move colors around that way. And if you don't want to put the, um, the watercolor um, right on your paper, if you have like... Um, like a page protector that's plastic or an acrylic uh, block or something like that, you can um, use the marker on that to make a little pool of the color that you want to use and just lift it off with uh, with a water brush or you can just even use a regular paintbrush as well. So that's, um, there's some, some benefits into uh, using these. And as well, they work very good with Copics. Uh, Copics do not reconstitute, I think that's the word I'm looking for, um, watercolors and vice, ver vice versa. So um, watercolors won't muck up your Copics and Copics won't muck up your watercolors. So that's really good. Um, they do not color over acrylic and um, because they are watercolor. They do not co color over uh, Prismacolor pencils because Prismacolor pencils, even though they're not as waxy as, um, you know, Crayola and those types of coloring leads, um, they do still have a bit of a film to them. So the watercolors do not, or the markers do not color over those. So that's something to look out for. Um, what else can I say? I did use some Lumiere paint in this. Uh, you'll see it coming up just after I do the uh, galaxy here um, to do the, the gold pieces in the stars and everything that I did and that was really I've been really wanting to get the fine tech paint and um, I'm gonna be going on vacation in uh, just I think it's down to like 15 14 weeks or something now and uh, I'm not counting I'm not counting but uh, <laughs> I get to go and do some shopping for art uh, supplies so I'm gonna look for some fine tech paints if I can find them I will get them but in the meantime I'm using my Lumiere paints and I probably still will use my Lumiere paints um, going forward as well they're just uh, metallic acrylics and they are actually other than a bit of liquid acrylic they're the only acrylics I have left uh, because uh, I sold my entire collection of um, oh my goodness golden acrylic paints and all my mediums for that to get my Huion graphics tablet uh, so yeah I have no acrylic paint left um, in the video right here, I'm actually using um, some Copic, what is it called? Opaque White. Um, I really, really enjoy using that to put the white details in the pictures that I'm doing. The only downfall I found about it was um, there's a little brush on the inside and that brush somehow bent and it went all crooked and I couldn't use it anymore so every time I open it it would splatter paint um, all over the place or whatever it is in that opaque white um, the bottle so what I did I, I cut off the brush the, the brush hairs so it wouldn't make a mess and I just picked up the paint using my regular paintbrush and it worked just as well. You can probably even use it in a dip pen but I haven't tried that yet so maybe that's something that I'll try too because I do have uh, calligraphy pens here and um, I like lining with uh, calligraphy pens so maybe it's something that could work. Uh, you can see right here I'm using the Lumiere um, gold paint. It I think it's pretty much for um, you can use it on like wood, metal, pl uh, plastic. You can use it on uh, fabric, and um, it's really nice. I also have uh, some other gold paints that I use too, which are Inca Gold. Um, in a previous video, I had mentioned that I was using those as well. They dried up on me, but if you add a little bit of water to them, they come out so vibrant and shiny, even with the uh, the added water. So I'm really getting back into using those metallic colors, and uh, I do have I did use uh, the Lumiere paints in another upcoming video that you'll see in just a couple of weeks. Now here I had uh, I wouldn't say a little bit of trouble. I had a lot of trouble <laughs> when I started painting with this purple. And I actually did this part, um, most of the galaxy and the uh, the teddy bear's dress while I was live streaming a couple of weekends ago. And I won't even go into live streaming. That was just a horror show because my computer kept freezing up and the stream wouldn't go right the way that I wanted to. So um, that aside, um, the paper, I think the, the, the purple marker that I was using, it was, uh, there was too much liquid coming out and it wrecked the paper. It, um, it kind of 
tore up like the first layer of the paper and kind of made it all mucky um, so that was a bit of a struggle there as well and uh, another thing is uh, with these markers you can mix them they if you put one color down put another color over the top of it you can mix the colors that way so that's really good about the markers too uh, not really a whole lot more to say about this piece, um, just about finishing up here. Um, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed doing this. I know it was a little, it was a simple piece, but I really enjoyed doing it. And, um, I think what I need to do for myself is to not always try to make those really big pieces that I think are going to stand out. And sometimes I just got to sit down and relax and do something small just for the fun of it and not worry about, um, you know, getting a video done on time or, you know, I'm going to put so much work into this. What if nobody likes it? So I just got to sit down, have a little bit of fun, just uh, do the first thing that comes just, to the top. Um, just have some fun with it. Um... So let's see. I, I really don't know what else to say. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos that I've been putting out lately. It would be so much appreciated if you could give a thumbs up if you're enjoying the video. If you're still here now at the uh, about the 11 minute mark, thank you for staying right to the end of the video and I hope you're enjoying it. If you have any questions or comments that you'd like to leave, uh, stick them down in the comment section below and uh, I answer all the uh, the comments, all the questions and everything that I get. So um, I look forward to hearing from you. Um, if you have any questions about the materials or the art piece. Um, but like I said, I didn't really have a rhyme or reason behind doing this. Oh, then it was the first page of my book. I needed to get something on it. I wanted to do something fun, something quick. And, uh, and I ended up getting uh, this piece here. Uh, if you guys would uh, like a um, tutorial on how to paint the galaxy backgrounds, I could definitely do that as well if that's something that you're interested in or if you would like to have some kind of a how-to draw certain um, elements of a picture like the teddy bear of the moon or if you want to know how to draw something that I've drawn, I could definitely do a breakdown tutorial of that as well. So let me know what you guys, uh, what you guys think and... Um, yeah, we can uh, get a little bit more creative with the videos going forward. And uh, I, I want to make sure you guys are coming to my channel and you're getting something out of it, not just watching me do a speed paint. And I have a few things that I'm going to implement in my future videos uh, starting in a couple of weeks. And hopefully that'll make my videos a little bit more creative. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy them a lot better. Well, that's it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed watching the full process for this art project. And um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already to make sure you see my future videos. Until next time, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.